Ghost Rare. I gotta say, Ghost Rare are probably some of my most favorite uh, rarities that we've seen in the last like 10 years. It's been a while since Ghost Rares first came out. They came out like what in the late 2000s, I want to say, somewhere around there. They're they're really really cool, and I wish they would come back in in uh, in English. You know, usually Japan always gets all the cool uh, Yu-Gi-Oh product. So I actually bought these a while back, and uh, it's sh because shipping of everything that's going on in the world, it took forever to get these. Because this is actually the Magical Hero set that came out uh, three months ago now here in the U.S. But the Japanese version has a chance at a Ghost Rare Dark Magician Girl. So I figured let's buy let's buy two boxes and see what happens if I. Pull one, I'll probably just won't open the other one. So let's do any mini money. Well, I'll just get let's do this one first. I'll put this one to the side and let's see what we get. So yeah, these uh, I believe they come with 10 packs, I want to say, and I don't remember if they're full packs or, or what. Can I open this? Hello? Maybe I can't. Uh good thing I brought my my razor here. Uh that where is it? Oh whatever. By the time I find it, there we go. We're already inside the back. Pack. Inside a box. Um, let's see what we got. See what kind of goodies we got. I don't know what else is hot in this set, I want to say. Because, I mean, technically, like I said, it came out already in the U.S., so there's really nothing cool about this. But as a fan of, one, Ghost Rare cards, and two, of Dark Magician Girl, you know what? This might be fun to do an opening for. And if you walk away with that card, I think that's going to be a win. Do these have the little slits at the top? I hope so. You know what? Let's just, do, let's just open from the bottom. Because I know these actually, the life hack with these is you can just do... Actually, can we do it this way? Yeah, we can. We can just do... Something like this. Ah, there we go. That works. Okay. I was about to say, do I need to get scissors? I hate when I sit down and start recording and I gotta like get up and uh, and, and and change stuff around. But yeah. All right. So here we got. So we got that. That I should be the last card. Yeah. So it's the last card is gonna be the rare. So nothing in that one. So yeah, this should be the exact same set that came out a couple months ago, the Magical Hero set, if you remember, which I've actually done a couple openings for. I think that uh, set had some banger cards too. Value-wise, it was pretty playable, if I remember correctly. But again, I want to know why Konami just keeps giving us, you know, the sec the hand-me-downs. You know, like, Japan gets all the cool stuff. I'm telling you right now, if they release a Dark Magician Girl uh, in any kind of new rarity, people are going to go crazy for it. You know, it's funny. Actually, I bought, um, they had that uh, DVD that came out a couple months ago. The, uh, I forgot what it was called. It was like the Dual Monsters Memorandum, something? I don't remember. And I only bought it, I only bought the Blu-ray because I wanted the, the the Dark Magician Girl card that came with it. It had like the new 20th anniversary rarity in there. And I got that card graded. I saw that on eBay the other day. That card was like $1,500. And I'm like, I'm so happy I bought that. I'm telling you, when you put Dark Magician Girl on anything with a special rarity and you release it, people are going to fight for it. All right, so it looks like if we get a hollow, it's going to be in that slot. That's good to know. And then you also get a regular rare as well. I won't put you in the background right there. But yeah, like, Konami! Show some love to the rest of the world. Give us, give us some of the cool rarities that you got. Why, why, why you gotta like be so stingy? But yeah. Anyways, um, regardless of it not releasing here in the U.S., uh, we are going to hunt for the Japanese version still, anyways, and uh, hopefully we can walk away with it. Hopefully we can walk away with it without opening the second box. Worst case scenario, we open both boxes and get none. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, well, maybe I have to just get another box, but because of how shipping is right now, it just won't be worth it because it'll take forever to get it. Yo, we got an old. Wait, so okay, so if you get an ultra rare, it's gonna be in the back. Okay, that's kind of crazy. That that's a good pull. That's a good pull. Let's put you in the back over here. That's a fantastic pull, but not what we want. Okay, yeah, I don't think there's any any uh any big like desire for anything else in the set. I might be wrong. If you are aware of this set, let me know in the comment section below if there's anything else cool in the Japanese version that we don't have. But I'm pretty sure everything else should be the same, minus the fact that, like I said, uh, the Dark Magician Girl. Let's see what we got. Super rare, and then nothing. So I assume if we do get the, the Dark Magician Girl, she'll be in the last slot, just like that Elemental Hero was. Okay, let's get into the next one. Come on, good luck. I've been saving my good luck for card openings. But I might have just used some of it, because this is like my third recording that I, I'm, I'm making today. Because I'm trying to pre-record out a little bit just so I have content coming out on this channel. Um, but let's see what we got. I did pull the blue eyes last time I did this special set. Uh, oh, I thought that was like a special rarity or something. Oh, I'm like, yo! It's kind of crazy. Um, I did actually pull the, the Ghost Rare blue eyes the last time I did one of these sets. And I feel like because I did that, I'm probably not going to be as lucky for the Dark Magician Girl. But it's okay because I still believe. Maybe I should have brought scissors. I 
I'm one of those people that cringes when I watch uh, packs get open with scissors just because I've seen mistakes and accidents before where people would like snip the top of the cards. I'm like, no! <laughs> so I'm like very, very uh, um, scared to use scissors for that exact situation. Um, but I also know it would make it a lot easier. So you know, I'm just you know, struggling for about 30 seconds with every single pack just because I feel like they, they probably have the slits and I just don't see them. Normally the Japanese packs always have the slits at the top. But uh, you know what? We ain't got time to look for that. We ain't got time to look for that. All right, this is gonna be the ghost rare. Watch this. Watch. You ready for this? Just kidding. <laughs> but it would have been hype. You can't lie. That would have been hype if, if the ghost rare Dark Magician Girl was right there. So I think it's actually 15 packs, right? Because we still look like we got we got a bunch to go through. As you can see, I'm very uh, very knowledgeable about the set, other than the fact that I know the Dark Magician Girl is in here. Um, let's see what we got. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Hey, that was like a clean opening. You know, I feel like because that was a clean open, this is gonna be the pack. Watch this. I should stop saying watch this. Usually when I say watch this, it's followed by uh, absolute sadness. So let's see if uh, we can break that today. No, we're not gonna break that today. We're gonna get a super rare though, which is nice. I'm gonna assume that the pull rates on this box should be similar to what we had before, where it's probably two ultra rares and then like maybe four supers. With a chance of a ghost rare, but uh, again, I don't really know, and I want—I don't want to spew stuff out that I'm, I don't really know what I'm talking about. Oh, boom! Just dropped. I uh, just—I just super dropped this. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Yikes! Watch this be the pack that has it. Oh no! Karibo. No, we got nothing out of that one. All right, good. <laughs> For a second, I started sweating. I'm like, no! Because <laughs> the worst part is it—the cards fall off screen. And people always have these conspiracy theories where if something fires pulled, it's like, oh, that's that's absolutely set up. They set that up for for that point three second. He moved the, the 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 cards out of the screen. He inserted it. I see that all the time. I'm like, no, the content creators don't do. That. At least I hope they don't do that. I guess I definitely hope they don't do that. Oh my gosh. What's the most craziest conspiracy theories you personally had with the content creator? Let me know down below. Uh, and this is not meant to be like anything negative. You know, like just. Maybe when you see someone open something, you're just like, nah, I don't believe that. Let me let me know some of the stories where you guys had doubts and why you had doubts. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. Let's see what we got. Nice and easy. Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? Oh, nothing. Um, I definitely have <laughs> I definitely have seen stuff on my own channel where it's like, I will literally do something like this. I will do this, watch. As simple as doing something like this, where I just move it off so I can pull the pack off because I'm too busy talking. And people are like, oh, in a 0.3 seconds that he moved the, the, the cards off screen, he inserted it. I'm like, do you know how hard it will be to do something like that? <laughs> it's not something that's easy to do. And if, if you think it's easy, try it out on camera and see if it actually is easy. And I guarantee you it's not going to work out. Ah, yeah. Uh, I believe that this pack was going to be the one, but not today. All right, we got three packs left. This one is going to be fire. You know me, I like to do my little quick predictions sometimes. I like to do my predictions and, and uh, pick out the pack that's going to be flames. By the way, fear not, I'm going to be uploading a bit more. I'm actually literally sitting down to pre-record like four or five videos right now. So I'm going to have some stuff on the second channel over the course of the next couple of weeks. I think we'll maybe do like three or four uploads a week or something like that. Um, but I'm temporarily back until I until I run out of cards again, which gets I have to find more stuff to open. Come on, come on. Ah, nothing in that one. Okay, so let's see if this pack is it. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm. Pr this is probably about to turn into a into a single video. Instead of doing two videos of hopping in on both of these, I'm probably just gonna open both of these boxes here in a second. Unless, unless. Ah, uh, hey, actually, you know what? I'll take that. I will take that. Put you in the back here. So then that means this pack is going to be nothing, isn't it? Or I think I'm owed one more super rare, I want to say. So potentially, this is still going to be a hollow. But the question is, is will it be the hollow? Maybe no. Maybe I should just open. Nah, I think I'll open uh, the, the last box in a separate video. That way it's not. Uh, you know me. I don't like doing super crazy long videos. That's why I say that. Yeah, we're gonna open it. We're gonna open it. Let's just keep it all in one video. How about that? We'll keep it all in one video. I am gonna go get scissors though. Don't worry. I'm going to be incredibly careful with these scissors. At least I hope so. <laughs> all 
Oh my gosh, I absolutely hate using scissors with stuff like this. But I'm pretty sure there's a slit on top of these packs somewhere. And I just don't know it yet. Okay. Dark Magician Girl, Ghost Rare. We're pulling her today. Today. You guys don't even have to wait for another video. We're going to do it all in the same video. All right, let me just see. Is there a slit on top of these? Oh, there is. It's just very hidden. Look at that. It's right there. But yeah, it's fine. Let's do it this way. This is going to be a lot easier. Let's just do that. Oh, God. I don't... I really don't like doing this. I don't like doing this. This is making me so nervous. <laughs> Even though the cards are clearly at the bottom, I really don't like doing this. Let's just kind of fan it out. Nothing. Okay. Actually, this isn't, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. If I do something like... Like, I can feel the cards. They're right there. So as long as I'm cutting, like, up here, we're fine. Okay. Next pack. If I don't pull the Dark Magician Girl today, I think I definitely might get more of these. If you guys want to see, like, a Ghost or a Dark Magician Girl hunt. Really? <laughs> Twice? What are the chances? What are the chances of that? Okay, let's put you in the back. Uh, if you guys want to see, like, a Dark Magician Girl hunt, then I will definitely make it happen. Um, I guess just let me know in the comment section below. Uh, but the only thing that sucks is because of, of shipping delays, this might take forever to get these. Because I literally ordered these, I want to say, in, like, in, like, February. Yeah, like, I literally ordered these in February, and I just got them, like, last week, so, like, mid-May. Because shipping delays with, like, the, the virus and stuff. Can I get these out? Here we go. Okay. Come on, Ghost Rare. Nope, nothing. I, I, I saw the uh, the trap card in the back, so I knew that was going to be nothing. Okay, it's fine. Let's get into the next one. This is actually making it a lot easier to take the cards out, though, so that's kind of cool. Maybe this is where the way to go. Let me actually just do this. See, I'm making a mistake of looking through my camera, but that's how you get oopsies. That's definitely how you get accidents, and you don't want you don't want to see that. Imagine I finally pulled the Ghost Rare Dark Magician Girl, only to cut her at the top. Ah, that would be the worst. Please don't let that happen. Please don't let that happen. Okay, let's get once again. Look this way. There you go. Hey, nice clean cut. Okay, let's see what we got. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, well, yo, that's a good pull. That's a really good pull. Isn't this an... This is a, a, an ultra rare in English, isn't it? If I remember correctly? I could not... I remember when the set first came out in English, I could not pull that. And the, <laughs> the funny thing was, I remember everybody around me that was opening the, that set too was pulling. And I'm like, how am I the only one who didn't get that? <sighs> so that's actually, that actually kind of makes up for it, which is kind of nice. Okay, let's see what we got. There we go. Okay. Come on, come on, fire luck. Hey, we got honest. And honestly, that wasn't good enough. <laughs> that was a terrible pun. I know, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Okay, let's get into the next one. At least these packs are fairly cheap. I think it cost me like forty dollars a box or something like that. Um, I don't think the Dark Magician Girl is worth that much money, but you know how it is. It, it, there, there's a certain amount of monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh that once a version of that card is released, it is something you want to hunt for. Because over time, it's going to absolutely skyrocket. You know, I mentioned this. I don't know if I mentioned this in this part or my last part, but I bought that uh, Blu-ray that came out a uh, about a year ago. No, it was back in September, actually. Um, that if you buy it, you get the 20th anniversary stamp uh, Dark Magician Girl. And that card, number one, as beautiful as it is, blew up in price. And I'm like, what happened? Like, what? I mean, I get it. <laughs> it's an iconic monster, but that, that price is ridiculous. Man, I... Just imagine when, when Konami finally re decides to release those 20th anniversary cards here in the U.S. How wild the prices are going to get. There's going to be a lot of competition. And I know I, for one, myself, will be fighting for that. <laughs> fighting to get that card. Okay, that's it. Oh, all those cards that I want. I'm, oh, no, it's all, the howl's already right there in the front. I love the art in a lot of these uh, in this set. It's kind of beautiful. All right. Let's get into the last. You know what? Let's, let's pick out the one. This one. This one will have the Dark Magician Girl. I sense it. I feel it in my heart. As a Dark Magician Girl uh, aficionado, is that the right word? Collector, I feel the vibes coming out of that pack. And nothing out of this one, apparently. Okay, get into the next one. Come on. You know what? With all the uh, re releases um, of. Like 20th anniversary stuff. Which card? Which card do you want to see get the Ghost Rare treatment next? Let me know down below. You know what I want to see? I'm going to be honest with you right now. I want to see the original art Egyptian God cards. 
all as ghost rares. Speaking of ultra rare, <laughs> that would be really, really hype. That would be really, really hype. And I know for me, I own every single uh, uh, Egyptian guard card the PSA 10. I will go after that immediately. Immediately. Like, I know they're not really that necessarily that playable, but they're iconic. I mean, I remember the first time they had the god cards in, in, in the anime, how wild that was. Like, bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. Oh. Um, let me get that. Let me get that. I even take that as a 20th anniversary uh, card as well, actually, now that I think about it. Wait, they already have those. No, they already have those. They, they just have alternate arts. I mean, I want the old arts, the original arts that they had in, like, you know, the series. Because I actually do have all the um, 20th anniversary versions of those cards. All right, let's see what we got in here. Right nah, nothing. Okay, it's cool. We got one more pack, and then we're gonna open up the Ghost Rare pack in the back. At least I hope that's gonna be the one that has it. Otherwise, it's back to the drawing board. Okay. Let's see what we got. We got our boy Wink Karibo in the front. And. Nothing! Okay, it's fine, because that just means this pack, I picked out the right pack. I picked out the pack of Destiny. I followed my heart. Let's see my heart guided me to the correct pack come on like I, I literally went from I don't want to use scissors in these packs to you know what that's all I'm doing right now this is it all right nice and easy slow down one two three no! <laughs> nothing okay all right all right back to the jungle 